Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tanoya, and I have a special guest today. My little sister Abigail. What up on your chin? I'm so on my chin. Uh, should I eat the food before we start? <laughs> so today I'm gonna be doing weird food combinations that you recommended, yes? So I went to my Instagram page, follow me at Tanoya Wait, and I asked you guys to recommend your weird food combinations that taste good. So I got quite a few of them and I tried my best to do as much as I can. Some of them I'm familiar with and some of them are very new to me and Abby. Because we, we, we're foodies and we like to try new things. But you know, yeah, so we're going to be tackling them on today. Trust me, Korean egg, um, barbecue. In, yeah, let's just get into it. Look at them very weird. Which one are you having first? So first we're going to be doing the cup soup and barbecue sauce. So I have my cup soup right here. You can hold that. You have your fork? Yep. I'll have our barbecue sauce. She didn't say how much, so I'm not sure how much to add. I think you can stop. Alright. Let's just mix it up together. This is our first meal for the day, so better we start with something warm. This should be good. I mean, all depends on the barbecue sauce that you have in your kitchen. So cheer, you wrap it around. Should not right. eat pasta. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Cheers. Mmm. It don't taste bad. Mm -hmm. It's nice. This is nice. Mm hmm. It makes it kind of sweet in a good way. Yeah, like the well, we, we're using the slow simmered original barbecue sauce so i guess if it was like um a barbecue sauce with honey it would be very sweet but this kind of give it like a savory taste mm -hmm. well it's a noodle dropping all over the place <laughs> um out of 10 well you like it yeah it's not it's not so out of 10 how much would you give it I could eat. I wouldn't eat this all the time though. But I'm definitely gonna start adding barbecue sauce to my cup soup. I'll give it a 7.5. It's tasty. It's very tasty. Mm hmm. Not bad. Mm hmm. What do you want to try next? Egg and ketchup? Yep. Alright, so next up we have. Eggs and ketchup. Egg and ketchup. I mean, I like this. I do it all the time. Why? If I'm doing an egg sandwich, I add a little ketchup to my sandwich. Who adds ketchup to eggs? Mommy do it. Egg and ketchup. Oh, well, I like it. It makes the egg taste less raw to me. It... Mm -hmm. No? It's not bad, but I wouldn't eat this like at all. Mm hmm. Don't like it. I'm not so. All right. How much should you give it out of a out of ten? Six. It's because the egg got cold. It don't taste as nice right now, but I like it. All right. So next up, guys, we have bun and banana chips. Yeah. Actually, I used to do this in high school. I'm not sure if I did it in prep school, but it's pretty good. So here's a sneak peek. Um, I feel like I could break a bracket doing this. Huh? Mm hmm. Oh, look how you have the braces. This is good. How is it supposed to taste? How is it supposed to. It just tastes good. This I is like, nice. I like the texture. Uh -huh. But I'm not sure about the taste. Soft and crunchy. Yeah. Here. Not too much space for other things. Mm hmm. You like it? No. Alright, out of 10. 
I'll give it a seven, not eight. I'll give it an eight out of ten. Five. How? Oh, there's just no flavor. There's no flavor. It's just five is for the texture. I like the texture, but that's about it. Alright, so this combination I'm really intrigued because a few persons recommended it. So we have I'm gonna be doing this one first. So this is cheese puffs and they pair it with condensed milk. Who sat down and said this was a so good idea? So I asked her, you know, how you come about with this? And she said she usually pour the condensed milk in the bag. So I'm very confused. So you have to coat the chips in the condensed milk? Yeah. So, okay. I'm not sure how much to use though. Oh, messing up the face. This is weird. I don't like how it looks. I like it though. It's weird, but I like it. I don't like condensed milk. But in this, it actually works, no? You don't think so? You have something, man. It good. It good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Alright, so we have another one to try, which is the Bigfoot with the condensed milk. So. Why do you have Bigfoot? And we're gonna try the Bigfoot with the condensed milk. This just so like running belly. You should have gotten the spicy Bigfoot. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Bigfoot condensed milk. All right. It tastes different. Yeah. Because the Bigfoot have so much flavor in there. They already have like a savory taste. Yeah. It mixed better with the condensed milk. But I wouldn't do this again. I would, but just with the cheese puffs. I'm not sure about the Bigfoot. Yeah. Um, let's eat one more Bigfoot because I like the Bigfoot. How much would you rate it? Um, it's a, The Bigfoot I'll give it a 5. The cheese puffs of 3. The cheese puffs would be like a 7.5. And, and the Bigfoot would probably be like a 4. So up next is Pringles and ketchup. This should be good. Cause it should be like just having tomato sauce with that chip. Does the flavor of the Pringles matter? I just got barbecue for more flavor. Well, she didn't say which Pringles to get. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. No. No. Um. I wouldn't do it again. No? So it's right, not right. It just not Out of right. 10, how much do you give it? I have to give it out of 10. Wow. It's not that bad. One. One? One. One for effort. I'll give it a three. Maybe it's the ketchup that we're using. I wonder if it is it Heinz that you use. I'm not sure, but yeah, it's not it. The combination together is just not it. All right, so we have. I'm not sure if you guys remember snackables in school. They have branched out and they have quite a number of flavors. I was really surprised when I went to the supermarket. Yeah. So someone recommended snackables and. Bun. Bun is a staple in Jamaica because people eat bun and everything. Bun and patty, bun and pizza, bun and mayonnaise. Wait, who said bun and Someone mayonnaise? Someone said bun and mayonnaise, but I'm not going to be trying that one today. I can't, no. Mm -mm. So, bun and snackables. When you use off all your lunch money buying things you're not supposed to, so this is what you can afford. Mm hmm. I'm not sure because I just got my braces tightened, but boy, it's hard to chew these things. And tough one. I can't see the flavor. I can't see why they tried it. I actually don't like stackable. stackable. I actually don't like this by itself, but with the bun, it's not that bad. Stackable was my go-to snack in prep school. I used to eat this a lot. I think so. 
we're very confused by this combination white rice with mayonnaise well, you're the only person that's confused here. This actually tastes good. I can tell you that for I, a fact. I'm gonna die. So I don't really like mayonnaise. I don't know. Hope you enjoy mayonnaise like that. I only like mayonnaise in potato salad or egg salad. Mayonnaise and, and carrots. Mayonnaise are and good rice. Too. Mayonnaise and rice. I'm confused. So this does smell good. I don't like the smell it's of not mayonnaise. about this. It's not about the smell. It's not about the smell. This is the Chinese rice. It, it like it didn't want to steam the more. I'll show you it's mummy rice. I really don't want to try this <laughs> one. I don't want to try this at all. It's like butter on rice. Think of it like that. Butter on rice. No, no. No, no. Mm -mm. Look. I mean, that dough tastes good. Zero. The yeast is on. This tastes good. Oh my gosh. That's horrible. This is a zero for me. How much are you giving it? Nine. It's good. I like it. I really do like it. Maybe it's the rice where you don't like it, but no, it's a, I it's, don't like I don't like all the mayonnaise. I don't like the smell of mayonnaise. Um oh next is egg and curry. No. This one kinda puzzled me a little bit, but she told me that she likes her eggs sunny side up. I was just sprinkle the curry on top. Me not gonna eat my raw curry powder. So, I scramble the eggs with the curry powder. I don't know about this. Egg and curry not for mix. Why not? This is scrambled eggs and curry. It don't taste bad. I don't know what to, I'm not tasting the curry though. I didn't want to put too much. I can see it. It's not bad. It's not bad. I taste it. I taste it, a little hint of it, but it's not bad. I taste it now. You like it? Mm -hmm. Two or three. I wouldn't do this again. Five. 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 It's not bad. It's not bad. You want look at seasoning on your food? You need, you need a bin. That don't taste good. I love a boiled egg. Um, alright. Do I have to eat it with the egg white? It's up to you. They said egg and ketchup. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's honestly not too bad. It's, it's not, not as bad, bad, but it ruined the egg. Yeah. It ruined the egg. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. This has ruined my appetite. Maybe because I don't like boiled egg, the, the ketchup just, I don't I really something enjoy to it. a boiled egg. And there's also like boiled egg and peanut butter in a sandwich, but that's for another day. That's for another day. Mm -hmm. All right, so out of 10, three, and I'm an egg fan, four. All right, another bun combination on a full of bun man i love bun so <laughs> we have bun and patty but she's vegan so i got soy patty for her so this is my first time actually eating soy patty hopefully i enjoy it but i used to eat this all the time in high school so if i press out the bun you know you can eat the bun and i press it out i remember when this was trending at school because a woman's boy did it and then he posted about it and i was like this is so stupid why would you do that and i did it with cheese patty and it was actually really good. I don't like the soy patty at all. But it was beef patty and I enjoyed it. It's okay. The soy patty ruined it for me. But I'm pretty sure if it was beef patty, I'd give it like a 7 or 8. 8. If it had cheese or something, then it would be a lot better to me. We have vanilla ice cream. We were given two combinations. So the first one... I've never done this before. It's vanilla ice cream and hot sauce. Why people want to ruin good things? I just don't understand. So, I always add a hot sauce to it. I'm not so sure about this. How do you feel about this one? Quiet, quiet, two seconds. So, vanilla ice cream and hot sauce. 
I feel like I'm going through up. I don't want to eat. I don't want to have it. Mine tastes good. Mm -hmm. The hot sauce, <clears throat> the hot sauce gives us a kick. <clears throat> I don't, I don't hate it. I'll put too much crap. She don't like it. I want to throw up. I want to throw up. <clears throat> People are doing good things for others. I just don't understand who who sat down and said this would taste good. I put too much hot sauce in the last one. Mm. <clears throat> a favorite, a favorite, favorite food combination is probably one of the best suggestions: frosted flakes and ice cream. You done it before? Mm -mm. I like getting ice cream, like plain flavors, and adding nuts, banana chips. I enjoy crushing up things into my ice cream. So my mom loves fruit and nuts and praline really nice cream and all that stuff so I enjoy getting ice cream and putting you know crunchy things into it so I'm just gonna sprinkle it on top this should be good it should be like just eating regular cereal and milk can you just like dip it with the frosted flakes mm -hmm. she's like just eating ice cream um, cereal. Mm-hmm. I like it. Mm -hmm. So, how much would you give the ice cream and hot sauce? Nothing. I'd give it nothing. If that was an option, I'd give it nothing. Right, so the ice cream and hot sauce for me was a five. The cereal and the ice cream, I'd give it a 8. 10, it can work. It could get a 10. It could get a 10. Mm-hmm. Ending on a high note. Yeah. Do not stop eating the things. Hi, guys. Thank you for watching another video. Hi. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on all socials at Tanoya Wint. Follow Abigail at I am Abigail Wint. And follow her business page. She's a photographer at Wint Photography. Spam the comments. Let us know what you think. Which is your favorite weird food combination? Have you tried them before? Can you suggest any that you think me and Abby should try for our next video? Share with a friend. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And yeah, just spam the comments and let us know what you think. And you know, are you planning to try them? Yeah. Don't so, don't try them. So yes guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in my next video. Alright, you can go on because you don't really want me to cook on love. Oh my god, she has a That's so nice. Oh, you want to be in the video now? Come. Bye guys.